and I just kept searching. Uh, I tried everything. I, at one point, I told my caddy, I said, I'll use a shovel. I don't care what it looks like. I just want to get the ball in the hole. <laughs> so I was out here at Quah Hollow, played with Phil Mickelson the first two rounds, putted terrible, missed the cut. I go to Charlotte Country Club on Saturday of the Wells Fargo week, and I take this arm lock putter that I'd gotten uh, from the Odyssey rep. And it felt uncomfortable, but I started making putts, and that kind of started me on this new path of a new style of putting, and putted better, but still inconsistent. And I show up at the players in 2017, a year later. Tim Clark's on the putting green. He's already done playing golf, but he's just there uh, seeing a couple guys, and he gives me a lesson. He just asked me to try the claw, and I tried it, and it felt great. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in play. Thursday morning rolls around. I'm about to go tee off. Paul, Paul, my caddy, asked me, what grip am I going to use? I mean, these are the conversations you have when you're struggling with something. You're deciding on which putter grip you're going to use five minutes before your tee time. And I kind of laughed and I said, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know on one. <laughs> so I went with this hybrid long putts. I would use conventional short putts, a claw. And it was the best four days of putting I'd had in years. Um, and God, by his grace, has allowed me to have a few good years of putting. But as Brad's reminded me, which is just an invaluable lesson, that it might not be forever. And it might be for the rest of my career. We don't know.